Praise the Lord, praise Master Jesus, praise the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the I am that I am, the only one of Israel. Let us pray. Our precious Daddy Lord, we just thank you for such a time as this. I pray that you will verify your word today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I welcome you all to the hour of hope and truth. My name is our prophetess, Mrs. Rosalind Waifo of New Life in Christ Evangelical Ministry, Lee. Praise God. I'm going to be bringing a message to us today. The message titled, Money is the God of this world, but not heaven. Not heaven. Is the God of this world, but not heaven. Because of what? You cannot use money to buy heaven. No matter the amount of money you have in your bank accounts, in your investments, or you have invested so much, you have a lot of money, but one thing is certain, money can buy heaven. Money can buy heaven. Money is the God of this world, but not heaven. That is why the word of God told us that money, the love of money is the root of evil. I will tell you money is not a problem, it's the love of it, it's the love of it, because you cannot love two masters together. You can't say you love God and love money at the same time. Praise God. How do you know if you love money? If you, if you, if money become your priority in life, you are desperate to have money. You don't mind how the money comes, but you just want to have it because you want people, to, you want to be noticed. You want people to know you. You don't want people to feel that you, you, you don't have this money, but you just want to have it by all costs. Every, as many, a lot of people, they want to have money they don't care how it comes i've met people who say i don't it doesn't matter what i do to get this money i just want to get money because of what i don't want to be intimidated i don't want to be intimidated by anybody i just want people to know that i myself i have arrived but one thing is certain as a child of god as as a being as one that god has created god has created us to come and reign with him he created us that is why jesus said to us in the book of matthew chapter 6 verse 24 he said this word to us say no man can serve two masters you can't serve two masters together as a child of God, you will lose one. It's like you you pursuing two things at once. If you are not careful, you will lose one. Praise God. He say you can. He say for neither he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and serve mammon. You, there's no way you can serve God and serve money there's no way you can love god and love money at the same time and become and love money more than more than yourself or even god there are some people that so love money they are desperate they can do anything they can even kill because of money they can do anything to sacrifice to get money some can even sacrifice their own life to, 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 to the satanic, to, to, to Satan, for them to get this money. They don't care. They don't even bother. They don't, they don't care about where they are going to spend their eternity. That is why Jesus Christ said, you cannot serve two master. You cannot serve God and serve mama. You have to choose one. Wh which one have you chosen? Are you, do you know that you cannot serve God? The money is the root of, or the love of money is the root of all evil. If you love money if you can't have it at the time you want it you can do anything that is why you must not love it there's no way you can love god and love money that is why the word of god said to us in mark chapter 8 verse 36 mark chapter 8 verse 36 he said for what shall it profit a man what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? What shall it profit you that you want to have this money by all means and you are not careful of your soul? You don't even mind about your soul, where your soul is going after all. You can, you can labor, you can work to get money. It's good, but don't go to an outside 
work your labor to want to do anything to get money i have seen in this end time people are so desperate because they want to they want to be noticed they want to be known they want to showcase their self they want to ride on the best car they want to be in the best house they want to, to be known even in the ministry it is it's so everybody wants to be known in yes they want to be known what what are these for what is it for what is it for after all, what shall it profit you if you gain the whole world? You have all these things. At the end, you lose your own soul. Remember, money is the God of this world, but not heaven. Not heaven. There's no money in heaven. There's no amount of money you have here on earth. You cannot take it with you when you are going. On that day, you cannot take it with you. When Jesus comes, are you going to say you want to go and take your money? I want to go and collect my money in a bank account. I want to take all my money, all my thousands, all my millions, all my billions with me. No. You, because you don't need it in heaven. Whatever God has blessed you with, be satisfied with it. Be satisfied. The satisfaction is of the Lord. Once you know Jesus, no matter what, whatever he has given to you, be satisfied with it. Don't kill because you want money. Don't sell your soul because you want money. Don't give your life to, to Satan because you, you want money. He's the one ruling the money. Let me tell you, God can provide for you genuinely with your labor. Why do you want to kill yourself because of money? Why do you want to get the money by all means? Why do you want to sacrifice? Some people go to the estate of sacrificing somebody else because of money. Be careful because at the end, what will it profit you if you gain the whole world? You have the best car. You have the best houses. You have everything, everything at your disposal. And at the end, you lose your own soul. If you miss heaven, you will not miss it. And your money cannot buy heaven. Money cannot buy heaven. It can only profit you here. It, you can only use it here. You can only use it to oppress people here. But in heaven, nobody cares. Maybe in hell, I don't know. Maybe you will see some people that are dead that care, but that, that will tell you that why did you come here? You have every opportunity now to repent and change. Money is the God of this world, not heaven, not heaven. We all must come to repentance and change our, our thinking about money. Jesus Christ has rightly told us, you cannot serve God and serve money and serve mammon. Money is the root. The love of money is the root of evil. Praise God. Uh, if you are not giving your life to Jesus, I want to lead you to Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I am a sinner. Forgive me my sin. I repent for the quest of money. Today, I have heard this word. Lord, be my Lord and master from today. I recognize that you died for me. You shed your blood on the cross of Calvary. Lord, cleanse me with your blood. From today, I repent from all my wrong thinking. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Please know this. Jesus Christ is coming very soon. God bless you. Amen. Amen.